Good day students, this will be your discussion video for Guide 4 and Career Preparation and Development subject. So for this video, we will be discussing career development. So it's important that as of this moment, you already have planned your desired career path. So the moment you chose your present course is already a stepping stone in achieving one's career. There will be a lot of factors that can affect your career choice. So in some cases, the person cannot completely decide on their own since some things need to consider may it be a financial factor, family choice, peer pressure, or the trend and needs of the society. So everything that is happening around you should be considered when planning your career. Here are the different factors that can influence career development. Number one, skills and abilities so it has already been mentioned in my previous video that we need to have the self-awareness to know what are skills and abilities so are these competencies of yours are considered to be strengths if so then it plays a huge part in choosing one's career number two interest and type personality some examinations can measure what particular field do you have an interest in. So a widely used standardized examination is the Holland Career Typology. Number three, life roles. Uh, there are moments in our lives when we need to consider our career path based on the current situation we're in. So for example, if you're already a parent, there are certain career paths that you need to thoroughly inspect, such as the time you can spend with your family, the distance from your f uh, from home, salary, and the list goes and on. So it varies from one person to another. Number four is previous experiences. So for example, if we, uh, we have already previous work experiences, we need to assess if it can help your career development advancement to another level or not so ask yourself uh, were your previous work experiences a good one uh, would have it been better if you have applied for another work or not so it's up to you on how to evaluate these experiences number five culture so often our culture molds our values and expectations because they relate to several aspects of our lives including jobs and careers so a person's culture may influence one's career decision number six gender so let's also include sexuality here in this category so even that we're embracing modernization as of this moment still you can observe that certain careers wherein there's a majority of a particular gender or sexuality that are currently working in that industry. So for example, police officers. Now, uh, here in the Philippines, we can see men, women, or from the LGBTQ plus community uh, be part of that career. But still, you can notice that majority of them are straight men. So, I'm not saying that we are not allowed to choose our careers if we base it on our gender or sexuality. But what I'm trying to say here is that uh, there are some individuals that are a bit concerned because their gender or sexuality is inferior in terms of population on that specific industry. Uh, number seven, social and economic conditions. So the events that are happening in our places, such as our economy and different trends and demands in our society can influence our career choice. A good example here is a time wherein there's a high demand of nurses to different countries. So as a result, there were a lot of students enrolled in the nursing program to pursue this career. And number eight, physical demands. So when choosing a career, you must be realistic about the physical demands required in that particular field of job. So one must check 
if the job requires a certain level of physical strength and physical requirements such as height, weight, or any specific uh, physical appearance that the company expects to be present. So when talking about career development, uh, this spans over the individual's entire lifetime. Our chosen career develops from a series of jobs, duties, and responsibilities. So as time progresses, we seek advancement because we discover different types of work. We were able to know the div diversity of jobs and learn to appreciate and be curious about it. But we should also keep in mind that to always have a plan, we should know what career path do we really want to take and always keep on track and never be overwhelmed by what's happening around you such as jumping from one job to another so have a goal and slowly work on it so that ends my discussion video of this particular topic kindly check other discussion videos here on this youtube channel i've also posted a specific links on our google classroom for you to be guided so if you have questions or clarifications kindly contact me through my university of bohol facebook account thank you for your attention